Okay, so we have, well, suffice it to say, travelled a very long distance. Now, <laughs> this is the distance I had to cover right here. So I went all the way up these roads right here, cut across this small river, and then made my way up to Marcus Thule's residence. Now, I know what you're thinking. Well, isn't that not very far? But no, it was actually, because I had to go from Duval Thranta as well. So, going from all the way over here to here, and then through this, I cannot believe it! Goodness me, the distance required... Wow, okay, that was impressive. So, now, we can enter the residence. Stay back. Who are you? What do you want from us? Is this what real Organa soldiers look like, Mum? How fierce! Stay behind me, daughter. I won't let you be taken from me. We aren't that frightening, are we? Certainly, Lieutenant. Military guidebooks on public interactions emphasize the intimidating effect soldiers can have on civilians. Why have you come here? What are you going to do to us? Your husband wanted me to get you out of here. He even gave me the password. Tyrovan. Tyrovan? The code word. Marcus, he's still alive. We have to go to him, Mum. We have to. But... but how will we make the journey? We'll be spotted traveling with this soldier, marked as traitors to House Thule, to the Empire. I... I want to see your father again as much as you do, dearest, but we must think these things through. Wear these cloaks. They should hide your identities. Well, I... I suppose, if we have no other choice... Just think of it as an unusually dangerous vacation. Very reassuring. Don't mope, Mum. This is going to be so exciting. Let's go. Okay. And, oh my, now we have a lot of women following us. This is definitely very different from my real life, that's for sure. Okay, so, <laughs> let us... Aha, once you have Marcus Thule's family safely inside the extraction zone, signal the dropship with this... Thank goodness there's a dropship, otherwise I was going to be livid. I really did not want to travel all the way back. Even though we are being pursued by a lot of women here, but still. Really did not want to travel all that way. So, oh, we're actually getting some additional things right here. And, yeah, very nice. Eric Jorgen doing a good job, as usual. And, oh, wait a minute. I do believe I'm going the wrong way. Can I actually get on my mount? I can. Can I just run for it? Because I ran through all of these enemies beforehand while I was on my mount, and I thought to myself, hmm, maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to do this. <laughs> can I actually do this? Wow. Okay. This is pretty special. That's what I have to say. Oh! Zabosh is on his way out. I will say bye for now. Okay. So, yes, we are going to be making our way over to the extraction dropship. And these guys, thankfully, can walk on water. Or at least, I'm not entirely sure whether this water is that deep. So, that is wonderful. That is very nice indeed. Because fighting through all of those enemies, that was going to be... Well, suffice it to say, rather difficult. There are a lot of elite units, and I do believe we've seen quite a lot of fighting in this episode so far. So, let's leave it at that. Or shall we say, in this session, because I might actually be doing a marathon episode, and, well, shall we say, a marathon recording session, and most of these things will be split up, perhaps. Now, I know what you're thinking. You just missed the turn-off, didn't you, Reformist? And I'm going to say, no, I did that completely on purpose. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, I hope you uh, bought that. Did you buy that? No, probably not. <laughs> okay, well, whatever the case, let's just go up here. This is where I actually entered beforehand. I suppose we'll have to fight these guys. So let's just fight them, because why not? You truly don't care if we die, do you? Are you serious? I'm right here. My goodness. How dare you. I'm fighting for you. I mean, come on. Seriously. Ah. Okay. <laughs> you can't please everyone, that's for sure. So, ah, uh, wait a minute. Okay, let's do it. 
Okay, now these guys are going to be knocked back, unfortunately enough. But I'll take out the sentry first, I do believe. And then we'll do some damage to these guys as well. Some nice gut attacks, I do believe, are in order. Yes, there we go. And those guys will all die very easily indeed. Now let's take out these guys. We need to focus on the commander, I do believe. The commander's going to be quite difficult. So let's go for some nice full auto here. And we'll go for a nice shield ability as well, just in case. Because we are going to take a lot of damage. And I might actually die. No, don't die. Come on. Yes, Ilara. Oh my goodness, did you see that? Ilara healed us right at the end of our life. That was so incredibly clutch right there. I cannot believe she was able to do that. Wow, okay, well, that just shows Ilara is the best companion. Well, in my opinion, she is the best companion because she saves me more often than not. Much more often than not. Oh my goodness. Okay, so as you can see here, we actually have quite a few credit boxes. So I'm going to be opening all of these. And we're going to be gaining a pretty significant amount of credits, if I do say so myself as well. Very nice. And now we will be heading over to the dropship zone, which is right here. And using... Wait a minute, what's this? Oh, thank you very much. That is one of our slicing missions. And we will be using the signal flare gun. Okay, so my question is, why didn't we get on it again? <laughs> and here I was thinking, oh yes, we're going to have a very good time going back, aren't we? Yes, we're going to have a very good time. Okay, so, yeah, no, we have to make our own way back by the looks of things. That's rather unfortunate, is it not? Okay, well, I'm just going to head down here and we're going to try to get the flight path, because I suppose if we are going to be heading back to this area, it's going to be a good idea to get the flight path at least. Otherwise, we'll have to travel all the way from the bottom of the map, which would be absolutely awful once again. So, yes, let's move here, and we'll do our very best to get the flight path. Okay, so the great thing about traveling, or at least one of the great things, is that you can wait for your cooldowns to come back. For example, quick travel. It was on cooldown until I got here, and now we have the flight path. We are able to very easily port back. So, I hope Captain Cormac is happy about our performance. I'm pretty sure he will be, considering he is our subordinate, I suppose. So, <laughs> I don't think he has any say in the matter about what we actually do, but we were successful in retrieving the wife and daughter of Marcus, so I think we should be pretty good. And as a result of our little travel time here, I am going to be cutting away once again, and I will see you once we are speaking to Captain Cormac. Okay, so we are once again in Central Intelligence, and we are... Greeted by the sight of Altana and Valen once again, as well as Captain Cormac. They are talking with each other, and I would like to be a part of this conversation. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh hello there, ladies. Uh, welcome to the detention center. Where's Marcus? You're holding him prisoner in this horrid place, aren't you? I insist that you take me to him at once. Um, Lieutenant, what's the call here? You think it's safe to let him in? I'll take responsibility if anything happens, Captain. All right. Take the ladies on in. Cell's open. Let's move along. I want to bring this nightmarish journey to a close. Don't be such a crank, Mum. Enjoy the adventure. We're going to see Father. Yes, the only thing that brings me comfort in our impending doom. Let's find out what these beasts have done to my Marcus. Aha. Okay. So, now let us... Interact with the holding cell? Hmm, it appears so. Marcus! Father, we're so happy to see you. Altana, Valen, I'm sorry to have put you through all of this. Was your journey a safe one? Are you injured? We are uninjured, husband. 
This beast you sent for us was more savage than those we encountered along the way. It really was the most exciting adventure of our lives, Father. Thank you. Glad you're happy. Oh yes, it was utterly thrilling. Thank you. You have carried out your end of the agreement. With Altana and Valen safe, I can tell you everything you wish to know. Marcus! Our house is no longer ours, dear. It is a puppet, and nothing more. The two of you are my only concern now. Listen closely, soldier. Gearbox is working inside a highly secure bunker, hidden in the mountains. A direct assault is impossible. The bunker's force fields are impenetrable. But, if you raid the generator facility that powers it, you should be able to shut the defenses down. Give me the details. The generator's facility powers all of the bunker's outer defenses. It's well hidden, but I can provide you with its exact coordinates. As for Gearbox himself, I cannot offer any further information. His Project B was kept a secret even from House Thule's highest nobleman. However, he promised that Project B would single-handedly turn the tide of the conflict. Whatever it is, Project B is dangerous. Thanks for the heads up. Our arrangement is concluded. If you'll excuse us, I'd like to spend some time alone with my family now. That's enough for me, Marcus. Thank you very much. We will be infiltrating Gearbox's bunker shortly. Let me reply to Toy Shork, and we will say, Hey, I will invite... Yes. <laughs> there we are. And I will say welcome. Okay, so we have gained 142,000 experience. We have a heavy premium storage box and... Oh, wait a minute. We have an implant. Can I have two implants? Can I have two implants? Yes, we can have two implants. So let's take that. Oh, yeah. That is lovely. Very nice indeed. So let's wear that. And I will say thank you. There we are. Thank you very much. Okay, so, yes, we are now level 34, and I suppose it is about time that we spec into something else. So, we have four points here. We need to spec one more point in something. Hold the line. What is actually hold the line doing for us right now? Have I actually used hold the line at all? It doesn't appear as though I have. That's probably a bad idea. As you can see here, I have huge amounts of things to spec as well. Six new abilities are available, and hold the line is this. Grants 6 seconds of immunity from all movement impairing effects, knockdowns and physics, and increases movement speed by 30%. That actually lasts 10 seconds with that skill. Not entirely sure whether that's worth it, but maybe we will try. Oh my. Ah, that's actually pretty good as well. Sonic round, not too bad. I would like a new Ion Pulse though, so I'll have to try and find a Trooper Trainer at 2. And... Hmm, hold the line, that's probably not going to be very good for us then, is it? Because it is more focused on PvP, I'd say, maybe? But, hmm, even then, some of the other things aren't even that good. I don't use cryo grenades that much, maybe I should use it more, who knows? But I think for the majority, I'm not able to even do these talents up here, so we're going to be taking the 1% damage reduction, which I know I said I wouldn't do, but... I'm taking a lot of damage, and why not? We might as well do it. So, let us commit... Those points, thank you very much. Next level, we'll be able to spec into something rather impressive, as in shock absorbers and havoc training. That would be rather nice, to say the least. So, let's use our booster shoes to get out of here. And we're going to be heading out of Organa Castle and heading towards Gearbox's bunker. And as a result, I will be ending this session off here. And next time on Star Wars The Old Republic, Gearbox will feel our full wrath once we have disabled the shields around his base, I suppose you could say. And that is it. So, yes, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.